Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at using multiple forms. So sometimes in your program, you want to be able to have a whole bunch of different forms open, and you don't want to be restricted to only using message boxes or only using input boxes. So what we're going to learn about in this tutorial is using multiple forms and creating objects to those forms. So we'll go ahead and create a new project. We will select Windows Forms application and we will call it Multiple Forms. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And we'll just wait for that to load. Okay, so now uh, let's resize our form some and we'll come over here to our toolbox and we will add a button. So we'll just make this button a little bit bigger and then we'll add a text box. So text box right there. And we'll add a label right above that text box. And here, let's switch places. And we will just set the text of that label to um, name. So we'll come down here and we'll set it to name. And now we'll set the text box name to um, text new form name. And we'll set the name of button one to button new form. And we'll go ahead and shrink that down a bit. And we will set the text to show new form. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to open up the code for our form one and we'll just go ahead and set the title of the form one so let's come back here and we'll set the text to um, form number one okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to access the click event for button show new form and now what we need to do is we need to create a new form object uh, that we can show so what we're going to do is we'll type Um, declare a new form as new form one. So it's going to create a new form one object, which is going to be an exact copy of our form number one. And we'll come up here and create a private uh, variable. So private form number as integer. And we'll go ahead and set that uh, equal to zero to begin with. Okay, so now that we've declared our new form uh, object, let's go ahead and set the form number. So new form dot form number equals two. Let's go ahead and set this one equal to one. Okay, so now that we've set our new form, uh, we're going to go ahead and type new form dot show dialog so what this is going to do is it's going to pop up our new form and it's going to let us use it now what we need to do on under form one dot load so we'll come up here to form one load and we will type me dot text equals and then we'll type form number and let's just add a colon right here and then we will add the form number and form number so what this does is it uses the me keyword which uh, me refers to form one and the text of form one is uh, this right here you can see that in our properties we have properties for for, for uh, form one and the text is uh, set to form number one and we're just going to set it to form number and form number so now let's go ahead and run this and if we click show new form we get form number two and we can show as many of these forms as we want and you can see that it will not let us uh, go back to the first form while form number two is open uh, because um, it's we use the show dialog method which makes it to where it'll only let us use that until we close out of it now what we need to do is we need to get the name that is typed in right here so let's come down here and we'll type um, 
new name as string and we'll set it equal to text or text new form name dot text and let's go ahead and create another variable so private name as string and we'll set it equal to nothing to begin with now we need to set the name of our form one or of our new form so new form dot name equals new name and we'll just go ahead and add that up here so we'll say name and then we will add the name variable and we'll just go ahead and set this to uh, default instead of nothing so that the compiler will quit warning us okay let's go ahead and set this to form name because the uh, the error wasn't with the um, the declaration and setting the value of it it was with the actual name uh, because it conflicts with the name that's already in Visual Basic so we'll add this one to form name and let's go ahead and run this and you can see that if we type uh, my new form and we click show new form uh, we get form number two and name is default so let's go ahead and see what we did wrong um, ah here it is we need to change that to form name and not name so we'll go ahead and run this again we'll type hello form 2 we click show new form and you can see that we get form number 2 and hello form 2 